centered within the left cerebellopontine angle and with extension into the premedullary space, there is a T1 hypointense, flare hypointense, T2 hyperintense, non-enhancing mass. There is deformity and posterior displacement of the inferior aspects of the left greater than right cerebellar hemispheres. The medulla is also displaced posteriorly. The lesion extends superiorly to the level of the left porous acousticus as well as to the level of the hypoglossal canal and jugular foramen. The lesion demonstrates prominent diffusion restriction. The findings are compatible with an epidermoid. Epidermoids are secondary to inclusions of ectodermal tissue within the CNS. Epidermoids contain only squamous epithelium. The typical appearance is a CSF intensity lesion which envelops surrounding vessels and nerves. They can appear like a complex arachnoid cyst but will markedly restrict diffusion. Differential diagnosis includes craniopharyngioma, arachnoid cyst, and lipoma. Epidermoids are between 5 to 10 times more common than dermoids.